just taking a quiet 10 minutes out of my day. I'm going to pick my lovely wife Jane up from work. And um, I'm just sitting here quietly, watching the world go by in the car. I'm thinking that we can't really change the past, no matter what we do, we can't go back in time. Um, it's not like Back to the Future, is it, where we can go back and change past events, but would we want to? How would that affect fu the future? Well, it wouldn't be the same, would it? I don't know, I'm not going to go into the physics of time travel. <laughs> because I don't think nobody knows that, exactly what, what goes on like that. But um, anyway, I digress. So I seen a, a, a post um, the other day and it said that, you know, you, you can't change the past, but what you can do is influence the future. So, so all your mistakes, all your, um, your failed goals, um, all the things that, that that have happened in your life we just got to chalk it up to experience and and think to ourselves that we can make those changes if we want to we we can create a future that's better for us um, a happier future um, a more financial improved future um, healthier future my main goal is to focus on health and happiness and I honestly truly do believe that I've got the happiness in place. Um, how long happiness lasts, who knows what the future is, has got in store for us, but we gotta, we got to hold on to today and, and make the most of it. Um, even if you suffer with uh, anxiety, I, I suffer with extreme anxiety and I, and I get anxiety attacks uh, on, a, on a less frequent basis now. And I chalk that up to um, my health. Um, because I'm, I've got a good diet, uh, a full diet, and um, I've got a lot of activities that I do as far as um, um, health is concerned, and mental health as well. Because I paint, that's 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 another activity that I do to to keep the brain active and and being creative, and uh, and to solve problems on an instant when you when you're dealing with um, painting issues. So we've got to hold on to that, I think, and we can change the, the way we are. If, if you're less active than you want to be or you want to get a little bit more active, as I just said in other videos, just take those few extra steps every day and they build and they build. I, I didn't get to the fitness and stamina level where I am today. It's taken me nearly, I would say, eight months. Um, to get to the standard I am, um, which is nothing compared to some people, but I don't compare myself to others. I only compare myself to myself. I take photographs of myself and look back at my body and think, yeah, that's an improvement or that's not an improvement or I could do something about that. I don't compare myself to others, um, especially on the internet. You will see these YouTube videos where these, these people will say, I've lost 50 pound in three days look at me and you've got one picture of them big fat and bloaty and the other one like ripped um there's no way you can get a body like that in in that space of time i believe that you know certain people i'm not saying all um i say certain people um have got a, a a reasonably good fit looking body and they put the weight on and then strip the weight back it's easy to strip the weight back to get back into shape but it's very difficult, especially at my age at 56, to build muscle. <laughs> Hence the reason I'm drinking some um, additives into, in my water to help me um, to build some muscle because at 56, what does your body want muscle for? You know, your body's starting to shut down. It's starting to get older. It doesn't need to, to lift heavy weights and, and run up ladders. And, and the older you get, the less it wants to do that. So. You've got to put these things back in your body, um, eating well, um, having um, like protein shakes and things like that. Um, supplements is the word I was looking for. Having some sort of supplement in a diet is a must, if, especially if you want to keep healthy. Um, because you know a lot of us are lacking in things like magnesium and, and, and even protein. 
a lot of us don't eat enough protein these days. We eat a lot of pre-prepared pre meals that it's all full of saturated fats and stuff. I'm not knocking it. If that's what you like to eat, that's fine with me. As I said, I just compare myself to myself. And that's all you could do. Compare yourself to yourself. If you were happy, then that's fine. That, that's, it's your life, it's my life. And we, we have got to do what we want to do. Don't, don't feel as if you've got to be like others on Instagram and YouTube and in these magazines and things like that, especially if you're a younger generation. And you're listening to this, you know, and you see these these models, and they're all nice and slim, and size eights and stuff like this. And don't assume that, you know, that's what you should look like. You should look like you. Be happy with yourself. Give yourself some positive affirmations, and you know, and like myself with anxiety, give it time to get better. There's there's nothing like time, really. And if you're finding it a struggle to cope, then ask for help. It's always okay to not to feel okay. You need, sometimes you need to go and ask for help and sometimes you need help outside family. Some Somebody that's not um, um, biased then. Somebody has got doesn't know you, just knows what your issues are and what you've explained to them and, and they can help you from their experience. That's what I'm trying to say today. I'm just about waffling, old man, you're in another damp day in Wales. <laughs> Watching the traffic go past on the motorway there.